the day. From the Superdome in New Orleans. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. Saints taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Caesars Superdome. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Here come the Saints for their opening drive. And leading them out, Charles, the man who got the victory in the season opener, their fifth-year quarterback. And you always want to start the season with a victory. I know that's an obvious statement. But I think it's important for him to get the win because, let's face it, he's not a household name. He wasn't the first choice of their fan base. But if he wants to win folks over, string a few victories together. I think that'll do the trick. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got Thomas yet again complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. He was locked in. Two trips to the end zone, Charles, over 100 yards receiving. How about the combination of route running, confidence going downfield, and the ability to go up and get the football? You're exactly right. It was hard for them to stop him. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. The Saints are 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Jackson, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they scored in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys know how to put the ball in the end zone. Do you think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as week in and week out.
their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He hit on all six of his passes on that opening drive, including the final throw for a touchdown as his guys start here first and 10. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Looking to throw. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. A throw over the middle, taken in. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Back to throw again. Thomas has got it, complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 19. 7-7, our score after one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jarvis Landry, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints have taken the lead. Good start to the season for Emmy and the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds and they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jarvis Landry. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Saints have moved down in front. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start to that. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive, finding Taysom Hill complete. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and one. And the catch made by Johnson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. 
I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll look to throw again. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Now the Bucs and Saints expected to possibly be the two to slug it out for the NFC South title in 2022. But the Saints have had the Bucs number pretty much since the arrival of Tom Brady, at least in the regular season. They're 4-0 against Tampa Bay the last two seasons in the regular season. But remember, when Tampa won the Super Bowl, they did defeat New Orleans en route to that title. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll set up to throw. Claypool with another catch. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll drop to throw. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Chase Claypool. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's been unstoppable in this first half. Four touchdown passes on the ledger already. Closing in on the all-time record in the first half, by the way, which is six touchdown passes as this drive starts first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, and it's the Giants who have the lead as they approach halftime. Kenny Galladay a touchdown reception. From there, we head over to Detroit. Check on the Lions at home, Ford Field. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Curtis Samuel, up near 100 yards receiving with a touchdown as well. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And right now, they have the lead over the visiting Dolphins. The Ravens trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? Find out.
A week two underway around the NFL and a reminder that later tonight it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers home opener. The 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat, a Monday night doubleheader. Tennessee and Buffalo, 7.15 Eastern. And then Minnesota and Philly kicking off a little over an hour later. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 15 yards there for number 15. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Second and six. Throws the out route and finds Claypool. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll learn him a fresh set of downs. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 15 yards there for number 15. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara. His second rushing touchdown of the year as his guys have now moved out in front. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> With what he's doing in this contest, I'm not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front, despite the fact, as you said, we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Again, it's Kamara. A nice little juke to about the 35, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, get... And a nice spin into some open field. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara with career touchdown number 70. And the Saints are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. comes New Orleans. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? 
Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, well, they've got 95% chance. Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it. Every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. On second down, Kamara. And he gets it down to the 32. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Kamara up the middle. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Saints are on their way to a 2-0 start. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head <laughs> coach, he wants them to feel good. But at the same time, find a way to keep improving. the Saints they trot their offense out here now they are really in the driver's seat here enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter the defense does have all three timeouts but at this point doesn't look like it's going to matter much that one looks like he'll throw here avoids him at the 40 and this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Rolling to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, Brandon, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal. They obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 and oh start. Well, here they are looking at 2-0 and oh right now. Is heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game 
And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So for the Saints, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.